weekly update for Friday, February 17th, uh, 2017. And uh, boy, I got to tell you, if every time somebody said to me, when Sarah was going to do a crossover with Starchy the Dark Spud, uh, I could have retired five years ago uh, without a word of a lie. And uh, now it's going to happen. Uh, I heard from John Warner, uh, Starchy's creator, that uh, he wants to do a service crossover uh, with his online animated and uh, comic strip feature, Starchy the Dark Spud. And uh, sent me, a, sent me a, a script idea and uh, I tweaked it a little bit and then uh, recorded my part of it uh, doing Cerebus's voice uh, over the phone. And uh, I guess he's hard at work now on the big starchy Cerebus crossover. Oh, hey, if you haven't heard of Starchy the Dark Spud, uh, hey, where have you been? It's basically Batman as a potato, but not as intelligent or as graceful. And uh, they've done four issues in color, over a hundred comic strips, uh, some pinups uh, that they'll be releasing in a trade paperback in the near future. And uh, uh, he's, uh, he's self-published seven comics as well. As he says, not a lot, but enough to recognize all the warnings you were pointing out as true. And uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's able to make some money at this. Uh, he's got his own YouTube channel and a uh, total of like over 3 million views. And uh, he's even made a few bucks off of that. So he's up to uh, eight animated episodes as well as a trailer. And uh, it's all it's all there waiting for you if you want to go and check it out at Terrible Lizard Comics. Just exactly the way it sounds. Terrible Lizard Comics at gmail.com. And it's not just young people who do comics. Old guys like me do comics too. Rick Beach has uh, a new digest-sized effort that, uh, that he sent in called The Spotted Stone. If you ever read uh, Robert Crumb's Meatball and you went, uh, this, isn't just, this just isn't long enough, then uh, The Spotted Stone is definitely for you. Uh, you can get that at Amazon.com or from uh, Rick Veach himself. Just uh, look for Rick Veach on, uh, on Facebook. And it's not just me and the Veach Monster. Uh, Rob Walton is uh, doing a new five-issue Ragmop miniseries. And uh, only, only Rob could do a uh, very, very impressive two-page Jack Kirby spread. And I love the, uh, the opening lines on the spread. Uh, where do you see Geyza? Oh, come on, you didn't expect me to start at the beginning, did you? Nobody starts at the beginning anymore. And then, but um bump straight into a Don Martin riff. And then uh, Ellen DeGeneres. Well, it's not Ellen DeGeneres, but you know that that's who it is. As some of you already know, Dr. Pendle mysteriously vanished from the face of the earth in 1955. Well, I'm pleased to tell you he's returned from his star-spanning adventures with glad tidings of a non-threatening nature to lighten and uplift all of our hearts. Dr. Pendle? Hey, Sue Ellen, remember the conspiracy nuts in tinfoil hats we all made fun of at parties? Turns out they were right. Not only is the Earth ruled by shape-shifting reptiles from the planet Draco, but since the 1990s, they've been geoengineering the planet to make it more hospitable to their cold-blooded lifestyle. What? I know, crazy, right? The evidence has been right above our heads, only we've been brainwashed not to trust our own memories or believe our own eyes. Wait, says Sue Ellen. 
These aren't glad tidings of a non-threatening nature to lighten and uplift all of our hearts. No, they are not, says Dr. Pendle. Anyway, it's a very, very funny series. And I say that as somebody who has read all of the first two issues and uh, should be coming, Rob says, from Vault Comics uh, sometime around May or June. It's going to be serialized online. So uh, we'll give you a reminder closer to the time uh, you'll be able to check out Ragmop, uh, the new miniseries, online at your convenience. So, you know, uh, between me and, and Rob and Rick Beach, you're talking about like 150 years of comics experience. That's scary just to, just to say out loud, let alone to think about. So yeah, check out uh, The Spotted Stone by Rick Beach, as it says on the back cover, in glorious panel vision. And uh, we'll see you all next week, we hope. On, uh, on the weekly update.